It's Ron. My name is Joe Biardi. I play electric bass guitar and I sing occasionally, but uh, play a little guitar, little drums, little keyboards. All right. What made you decide to become a musician? Uh, I've been playing music since uh, I was about eight years old. Um, started playing drums when I was a little kid and uh, from then on taught myself how to play guitar when I was about 12 years old. Then taught myself how to play piano probably when I was about 14 and uh, moved on from there. Wow. Wow. Tickets, please. Tickets, how much? Uh, how much are tickets for tonight's show? $5.45. Oh, yeah, 19, 1964 prices. That's uh, it. I'll take uh, uh, five. And how and when did you become a member of the Fab Five? I was actually drafted uh, as a member of the Fab Five. I met Rod back in 1990 when I moved to Humble, and he was the only music store in town, and we became friends and met and uh, we both had a love of the music of the Beatles and I used to go to the store a lot and play uh, guitar and stuff like that and we became friends. I knew he was um, uh, Ringo Rod of the Fab Five and uh, we became buddies and uh, at that point I was playing in a country band, believe it or not, and um, years later, probably 2000, 2000 I was uh, performing as a uh, McCartney guy, uh, all around different, uh, all around the U.S. actually, as a sub uh, for different Beatle bands, uh, like the Beat Club out of Detroit, Come Together out of Oklahoma, the cast of Beatlemania out of New York, and uh, just a few others I forget. Uh, it's been so long ago. And if you saw my love, So I was kind of doing the whole wig and suit and uh, doing the McCartney thing. And uh, in town, I was playing at that time in a band called Zebra Three, uh, and we were playing at Westfields. And uh, Chuck happened to be in there a couple of times. And in our repertoire, uh, we did a couple of Beatles songs. I was playing guitar and singing, and Chuck happened to be there and saw me play. And uh, at that point, I think they had a member who left the band. And uh, at that point, uh, Chuck told the guys that I've got the perfect replacement and uh, you need to call Joe. Uh, this guy would really work out in the band and they did so I was recruited and uh, that was in February 2003 and uh, never looked back. Very cool. It's very cool. <laughs> songs you play, what are some of your favorites and least favorites? Uh, some of my favorites, God, would be uh, All My Loving, Good Day Sunshine, Day in a Life, uh, Wanna Hold Your Hand, particularly all the Beatles stuff. Uh, least favorites? I don't know if I have any least favorites because they're all good songs. Uh, I enjoy playing them all. And cool. Anything else you want your fans to know about you? Um, just uh, keep listening to 60s and 70s music and... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's Ninja Scott, Ninja Scott. I love this guy. <laughs> All right, man. Cool. Take care. Have a great day. We're good. Thanks. No, I know. He, was, he, was the only, he and Ron are the only two that didn't tell me to turn the camera off when they took their pants off. My husband said no. But 
Please. Uh, he likes to be naked. Like Not on camera, apparently. Yeah. Can I get a picture with the fans? Yeah. Can you fly me to Vegas? <laughs> I was just there. There you go. How are you? This, this is Joe's guitars. I, I can't even see the end of it over there. Wow. Or Buckley is talking about progressive income tax or whatever. I like that hat on you. And then the guy that had to answer him cool on the other hat. side was Dennis Weaver. Very so Buckley does this thing you like... Your call that's my husband for you. And they, um, they're He's like, so I'm crazy. Much <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that tonight? They when uh, it. Uh, when all of a sudden it was like, like a break of silence. Okay, well, I love you, I Paul! <laughs> and I was like, I love you too. And then I said, I love you, George. I love you. I, love you. I, love you. I said I'm something like, I love you, George. No, it was I love you, Bingo. I love you, Bingo. Yes. Bingo. I was like, oh my God. It's like shit. It's like, it was a break of silence. Now that they saw this check, they're the bringing me the paperwork. <laughs> Let's office. scream. What the hell is wrong with having you? But that just is a Let's testament to the acoustics in that place, man. That came from the back. It's wild, man. I've got to say something. Yeah. I love you too, babe. I love I think you too, too. Well, like that. I love you too. And I said, we're going to be today and later. You know what you should have said? You should have said, busy right now. Mom! <laughs> <laughs> and then I said something about your mother. What did I say? Did. I said something about... She was in the audience. Yeah. I was thinking yeah, about... Yeah, but you need to say something. Anyway, then I talked about it.